Don't question the milk. Don't question from where the milk comes from. Don't question what the milk is made from. It's milk. It's all you. It's all you get to know. Actually, now I question is why is Sage just named Sage? Is that the acronym for Super Advanced Girl Egg? Super Advanced Girl Egg. What that? Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. Um. Could you please tell me what the fish this is? First off. Second off. Meep! <laughs> oh. Yes! No! No! <laughs> we were flying! Oh, so close. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You both gotta go. I don't care no, what order no. this in. Uh, <laughs> nice. Holy shit. Wow, okay, you just fucking needed <laughs> me, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> <into> the... <clears throat> uh, pass. 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 Out of your friends, which are you? My junk freak, right switch. Cool puppet. turns around her face red with what I assume is both anger and embarrassment. You really want to get back, don't you? <laughs> hmm, feels familiar. That feels familiar. Even if it will make her angrier, I'm unable to contain my love that direction. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'll accept my punishment. Hmm, what should it be? Slap on the butt. Maybe I'll have you come as a... The Poku. Or maybe I'll ban you from my stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Sepuku, maybe. But banning from my stream... Uh, that, uh, that, that, that goes so far. Yeft. We go yeft. There's no left. There's only yeft. Hey, where, where do we need to go? Right or left? Uh, yef. Where's just yef? Yef. Hello, my alpha members and Twitch watchers to Caravan Kanuji. 
the first visual novel I have ever played in my life. Also, yes, that song is part of the game, by the way. It's called... Well... Take My Heart. Also, nice that the developer also added the lyrics. If you, if, you want, if you want to sing with it, because... Just so you know, also it's it's an originalism, so it's it's nice. But yeah, um, yeah, this is the first visual novel I have ever played, or as far as I can remember, I don't think I've actually played any other visual novel before. That so it's dead, and well, this means also it's before the DLC, just also. But also, if you think I have to. Well, warn you beforehand because oh boy <laughs> according to the developer it's a bit um yeah it doesn't only contain some sexual themes i also yeah also yeah, some other things like um according to the steam page by the way there will be some little bit of blood some alcohol use and some mild language meaning that of course this means that I will just censor it in the middle. But that's all. Also, really, I have really completely forgotten the whole complete story or what happens in the story. I only know of one ending. And you have to guess which of those three lovely ladies is the person I talked about. <laughs> so... <laughs> If, if you know what I talk about, which of the endings I got and which not, well, I don't know if also I will get all the endings. I think I, if I like it, like back then, I would maybe play the more streams of this, but if not, then, well, it will be a one time thing. Okay. So, yeah, without further ado, let's start a completely new. Weapon. I am Roman. There's only a room. Some of the ninth year of the of Heisei era, 1997. I also forgot one tiny thing to forgot to tell. Um, according to the to a review on Steam to this game, it has some very problematic um, LGBTQ I A LGBTQ I A plus things that. Uh, well, it's very problematic. <clears throat> Probably don't know. So yeah. Also, if you want to read the review of it yourself, it's on Steam. It's probably the highest <laughs> negative review of this game. So yeah, it is. Yeah, it is dead. So without further ado, let's go back to 1997. Life has a way of changing. Also, just self voicing enabled. Life has a way of changing, often drastically without any warnings whatsoever. Self voicing disabled. Yeah, I will, I will, I will not do this just in case because mm, I don't know why, but it sounded pretty Britain, even though I. Is this the voice that I did? Is it a Britain voice pack? Because I downloaded the voice, the official Microsoft voice packs. Because mm, mm. so yeah. At first, a day may seem like any other, but by tomorrow, it can all change. From where you live to where to who you are as a person. Oh Jesus. Recently, I've experienced uh, experienced such a large change. My dad wanted to start his own grocery shop, so my parents and I moved to a small village, vill village near Osaka. I thought I would have a hard time readjusting to move from Tokyo to a small lost village far from a big city with shops and fast food restaurants. Being an 18-year-old student, it would be difficult. It was, I was used to the excitement of a big city. Okay, so with other words, we are 18. So with other words, all of the other characters are also 18, hopefully. 
However, even before my first day of school, my life would change. Chapter 1, where everything started. Also, um, another little interesting fact that I learned is that the reason why the developer changed changed all the characters from 3D, which is the per version that I played, to 2D is because, well, the 3D ones were not very beautiful to look at. Which, understandable, but they gave it a little bit of charm. I also know, got the information, oh, that was the beta that I played, not the full version. This is the full version. The only difference between the beta and the full version is basically the characters. <laughs> and maybe the art too. Hmm. But yeah. Chapter 1. It's Sunday evening, after dinner. Ah, yes. Typ typical weep room. Even with a... Is this a ducky? I mean, it, it kind of looks like a ducky, but it's more like a normal pillow. I, maybe the, there's the ducky, probably. What is this? There, oh, down there, there's... Down... Right behind me is, is Sonico and the uh, other. I mean, most of the characters I probably know, maybe. I don't, I don't know who that is up there. With the underwear. Or down there behind me, or. You look familiar. And yeah, I should stop. My stuff is all unpacked and placed in my new room. I love this new look. Hmm. I mean, kind of a. Uh, Angled roof. Okay. Also, how how did you get that, this up there? <laughs> it sure is smaller than my previous bedroom, but it's not like I needed that much space. Oh well, I mean it. It looks like a nice 1997 weep room. You know, some look like yeah, they are actually from the 2000s. As long as I have room to sleep, play games, watch anime, and geek out, it's all good. I'm not sure what I should do before going to bed. I could study a bit, so I don't look too dumb at school tomorrow. But I also want to rest and have a bit of fun. What should I do? Let's watch some anime VHS, let's study, play some online games. Okay. As always, I'm gonna save at every at every <laughs> decision. Um, hmm, play some games, study, or watch some anime. Rewatch some anime. Um, what would I do? I decided to watch anime, some old episodes of the anime based on my favorite manga. High School Samurai. Hmm. It's the story about the guy who lived in the mountains, learning the ways of Bushido. Bushido? Hmm. I don't know if I pronounce good. Then, all of a sudden, he must go to a new town to learn about life in the city. He resolves a lot of his problems with his samurai skills and his heroic determination. I don't know how long I stayed up, but I was so tired and ended up falling asleep. Oh, Jesus, this looks terrifying. I switched off the alarm clock and went back to sleep again. Oh, no. I'm so tired. Come oh, man, wake up. You'll be late for school. And yes, no voice acting again. Because, no. Huh? What time is it? Wait. 8, 2 a.m.? School starts at 8, 30. 30. Dang it. I watch too much anime, I'm low, I'm late. That's not me. <laughs> I jumped out of bed, put on my brand new school uniform and ran down the stairs. I ate my breakfast faster than usual. I took a map of a route, route to school and left after saying goodbye to my parents. I followed the map and dashed through the streets. This town looks pretty unique. Yeah. A strange town, like a mix between a suburb and a rural village. Some had just arrived. The cicadas were crying. 
Yigoro, she says, hi. And it sure was hot out here. I noticed only a few people on the streets. Some of them were kind enough to help me find my way to the school. Then, as I was nearing an intersection, I see a girl in a school uniform. Well, since village only has one school, that must be where she's heading. And if that is where she's going, maybe she could help me out. I approached her carefully, as I didn't want to scare her. She looked beautiful, long black hair, thin body, and beautiful legs. Okay, my, my mind has taste. The fact that this, again, this happened before the DLC. I was not into fights back then. <laughs> so, hmm. It's also funny to say, I, I like fights because of DLC. Hmm. I mean, Monica's. I mean, anybody would get into fights just by looking at Monica's. Or somebody else. <laughs> I hesitated for a moment before saying anything. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, miss? She turned around to face me. Hmm? Yeah, she looking cute. Oh, wow, she was insanely pretty. Her eyes were blue. A wonderful deep ocean blue. They were like the clear wa waters you find in Hawaii. She looked at me, confused and a bit timid. Won't you even dare, Brain, or editing me? Who puts fish and Yuri in here? And yes, this also means that I will make some highlight videos out of this, because yes. Yes? Wow, her voice sounds so adorable. She's so cute. That I was at a loss for words. Um, I'm new in the village, and I'm trying to find my school. And since you're wearing a uniform, I thought you could... The girl stared at me with her big, majestic blue eyes. <laughs> Should I make the joke here? Because male writer describes a woman in the most too much. I have no idea how women work way possible. Finally, she smiled. Of course I can. Hmm? I'm going there right now. You can follow me. So wait for a second. For a second, my brain thought of, of Raiden Mei. I mean, she kind of looks like Raiden Mei, so... Hmm? That would be great. Thank you. When I ended up walking to school together. Darn. Look like, looks like it's my lucky day. I'm walking to school with a beautiful girl on the first day. You said you're new here in town, right? Huh? I had been daydreaming, so I didn't notice that she was talking to me. She started to blush. Orko! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. She's just so adorable. I smiled to myself. You're not. Actually, I just arrived last Friday. Mm, that's pretty early. My family just moved here from Tokyo. You're from Tokyo? My gosh, she's really, really slim. <clears throat> it seems like a wonderful city. I wish I could visit it someday. I bet I noticed there are a few distractions here than in Tokyo. Hmm? It's true. The village is kind of quiet. So there's usually nothing to do. When we want to enjoy ourselves, we usually go to the nearest city. It's only a short train ride away, so it's okay. There's a train that takes you to the city nearby? I hope there's a lot of stuff to do there. There is, don't worry. There are, there are fast food restaurants, shops, arcades. Oh, okay, we are already back into business again. You like arcade games? Very much so. I'm especially a fan of music and rhythm games, but I enjoy shooting games too. Oh, my girl has class. Shooting games? Wow! I couldn't imagine such a cute and timid girl shooting zombies or soldiers in an arcade game. Hmm. 
The fact that I thought of Yuri for a second before the... Ahem! Could you imagine though, Yuri from DDLC, just a timid shy girl. Then, arcade game, suddenly, shooter game. And she just, it's literally, the, it's literally on top of the leaderboard. By the way, what grade are you in? I'm in the second section. Oh, uh, second section? You see, our school is the, ton is the only school in this little... Hey! <laughs> hey! That was my brain having a little stroke there. <laughs> you see, our school is the only school in the village. There are students from, of many different ages and grades at our school. But there's an unbalanced amount of students for the usual grade system. So they made different classes, called sections, consisting of 25 students each, which are made up of students from different ages and grades. That sounds fun. I wonder where I'll be assigned to. Well, there are only five sections, so I have a one in five chance of being in the same section as you. I chuckled a bit and she giggled, a little embarrassed. My name is Sakura, and yours? Name's Roman. Roman? <gasps> nice to meet you, Roman son. We keep it with the Roman. Pleased to meet you as well, Sakura. Sakura? She gave me a sweet smile. Gosh, if her smile could kill, I think I'd be dead right now. Okay, we have some difference here, my boy. <laughs> like... Okay, she cute. But... Hmm? Deep down, I really hope to be in the same class as her. I wanted to see her again and learn more about her. Heart emojis. Okay, my boy. I can't believe it. I've been assigned to the second section. Yippee! Time so happy. However, I wonder if it's a good section. I wouldn't like to be in a classroom full of jerks or something. If that's the case, I'll just hop out. I just hope I'll be near Sakura. Bump. While I was daydreaming again, I bumped into someone. It was a girl with thick pigtails. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Hey you, watch your where watch where you're going. <laughs> Why does this sound sound so familiar? Next to I have played this game. Like I have heard this in an anime or something. Sorry, it was my fault. Wait, you're near here, aren't you? <laughs> well whatever, I'll see you later. And there was the Tsun. She ran down the hall, probably heading to her classroom. Yep. And yes, we have a Tsun here. I don't know if there's a young thunderer here. That girl was kinda rude, but rather pretty look. <coughs> okay, my boy. She reminds me of the main female character of the anime because of her hair and from what I could tell her personality matched as well let's hope she doesn't have a bat because if you think of the same character that I'm currently thinking with the same kind of name then um or I don't know how it's hmm. here it is second section's classroom some of the students were already here Sakura was right. There were there are students of all ages here. The youngest looked around eight years old and the oldest about eighteen. Oh. I saw Sakura sitting by the window. Oh, normal, typical. She smiled as soon as she saw me. Ah, Roman, over here. There's a desk available here. Of course, right next to the May to Maybe the the first Main, main, main female protagonist or something, someone else. Mm -hmm. She wanted the empty desk behind her. But actually, maybe it was also just a joke. Hmm? How lucky, a desk near her. Mm -hmm. Right behind her. So when she goes up, it's suddenly, oops. <clears throat> this really is my lucky day. 
Ah, yes. We are just a silhouette. We are just darkness reincarnated. I'm so excited we're in the same section. So am I. Our classmates really are made of, of different ages. Just like I told you. Actually, this whole town seems pretty special. I mean, the school system, the way the streets are, the kind-hearted town folk. Currently, you have only met one of the kind-hearted town folk. The other one as well. Do you like it? So far? Yeah, I think I do like it. I hope you enjoy our, your time here, Roman. Thank you, Sakura. Senpai. So, what are we learning in class today? Math. Oh, jeez. Looks like my luck couldn't last all day. You don't like math? Well, I'm not very good at it. I'm pretty good with math. I can help you if you want. That sounds perfect. Thanks a lot, Sakura. <laughs> You're welcome. That started without anything noteworthy happening. Math ended up being pretty easy. It was planned for every level, probably because of all the different ages in class. Yes, we don't do... when We don't do... College grade math. Well, there are eight years old year olds in this class who just go. Excuse me, teacher. What the fish am I learning? <laughs> or uh, probably what the what the frick? Actually, <laughs> the lessons felt like they were going on for a while though. The school bell rang to announce the end of classes. I was surprised by the noise. It looked. More like a bell for firemen. This is really not the urban school. Sakura and I decided to take and eat our lunches together in the classroom, as well as some other classmates. During lunch, I asked Sakura if there were clubs here, like in normal schools. Please, no literature club! This is the only thing that I told like, I mean, it could be that. But, 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 but. Currently, every time something happens in the literature club, it's not very good. I see only DDLC. Or this anime Chaos Head or Chaos Head, I don't know. Where there was also a literature club where the head of the literature club had did stuff and it was just dumb. If you watch that uh, those two animes then you know what I'm And I watched them and I hate it. I hated it. Yes, for example I'm in the manga club. Oh thank god! I like it a lot. Plus, the leader of the club is a cosplay. Ooh. Oh, hello. A manga club? Awesome. I love manga. You do? That's great. I don't mind. I mean, I like manga too. I haven't read one for a while. <clears throat> You're more than welcome if you want to join us, Roman. That would be awesome. I just hope the club leader will let me join. I'm sure she will. We're always looking for new members, especially right now. Oh, don't, don't say this. She? Yep. You know, a lot of girls enjoy anime and manga. Huh. Yeah, I know. Actually, I have an older sister who loved shoujo anime and manga when we were younger. Ooh. But that was a long time ago. She's married now and is living in Tokyo with her husband. Hey, 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 hey. Doesn't matter if old or young, anime can be anime and manga can be enjoyed by every age. That's why there is kids anime and there's uh, adult anime. And I mean not the the one where where you have to stick in the holes. Or the holes and the tentacles or the holes and the Horses and the whole ho and the holes and the, there, there's a lot of with, with the holes. I mean, there's also a lot of with the snakes too. You have, you have to think, to think about it. There's also sometimes the mix of both. Where someone has a hole and this dick, and then there are the tentacles, or other sticks, or other holes. And yeah, I mean, I don't mean dolls. I mean like. Let's say elf lead. Whenever somebody says anime and or manga, I, let's say anime, it's for kids. I, I recommend them elf lead or berserk. And when they just, when they have 
started watching it, they probably go to me and just say, uh, Roman, what the fish did you recommend me? And I would just go, hmm. Yo, you said anime is for kids, huh? Well, isn't this a wonderful, beautiful looking kids show? No, there, there's blood. People will just die and, ah. Uh. Hey, anime is, animes are for kids. So this means this is a kids show. If you, if you don't agree with it, then, well, your argument is invalid. Okay. Uh, I wonder how she's doing. I should email her when I get back home. How many members are in the club? Actually, we only have three members right now. Please don't tell me we're in, in, in DDLC. In DDLC 1997 edition Act 2. <laughs> Which would be a, a, a interesting, but... Mm. Free? That's all? Yeah, free girls. It's rather hard to find new members, considering the only manga shop around this in the city. So, we have free girls. Usually, the people that join aren't too invested to get the new manga to read, so they end up leaving the club. Where are they? Also, technically, a manga club is a digital club. FISH! I mean, actually, manga is the teacher, so... FISH! I see. Holy crap, turning a manga cup with only three girls? Hmm. Check that. Seems like my luck is black. I feel like the hero of a harem anime or a fish. <laughs> anime, harem anime, of course, but visual of a boy. Boy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> So, shall we go? Sure, you'll lead the way, Sakura. Let's go. I followed her through the halls, we climbed up the stairs, and then entered the small classroom. Every time I, I, I uh, read the line, climbed up the stairs, I think of always, like, literally climbing up like a mountain. Walking up the stairs. That, that means that we go to the stairs, but not go. Hmm. English is weird. Because in general we have literally be just go up the stairs. The room only had a few desks and they were all placed together to make a big table. Ta table. To make a big table. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not the table, a big table. What even is that word? <laughs> there were some manga posters on the walls and a bookshelf full of manga and art books. Ooh. There was also a small TV with a NATO Geo gaming console and a VCR plectrum. Two girls were already sitting at the table. One of them was completely focused on her handheld console. So we have the gamer and then we have the... Oh. Oh. Uh, what was the... What was the... Condition called again? Heterochromia? With, um... Two different eye colors? I instantly recognized the other one. She was the same girl that I had bumped into this morning. Sakura, how are you? Rika, Nanami! I found a new member for the club! Huh? Hello there? You! You know him already? Yeah, he bumped into me in the, in the hallway this morning. <laughs> With the 3D models, it was more goofier than the 2D ones. Because, just think of it! 3D model, and then just... 2D eyes there. I can was literally just photoshopped in there. Hey, I already told you that I'm sorry. I was daydreaming and didn't see you. Huh, I bet you were daydreaming about girls, weren't you? Thanks. Oh, she was kind of right though. I felt a little embarrassed. I noticed none of me stopped playing and sneaked over Sandy to join us. Don't pay attention to her sor sourness. All boys are perverts to Rika, but it's not in a mean way. Hmm. So that is the lineup we have. So we have uh, basically a Yuri, we have basically a Natsuki, and we have a Cutie. 
Bam. Now guess which one is the one that I talked about. Hmm. I see. I just hope she doesn't come in my sleep. You wanna wait? Again, when I played it back then, I only had one ending. And that was the, the only ending that I got. I don't know what, what happened. <laughs> In the other ones, so yeah, I can't really tell that somebody will die. <laughs> huh. He likes anime and manga, plus he seems quite motivated. Would you want to give him a chance? I'm meeting my boys in this club too. Some people already think we're just a girls only club. Alright, fine. I accept. Welcome to the club, Mr. Roman. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. You guys work with a Kansai dialect, just like most of the village towns. Oh. I saw Nami just looking at me curiously, so Sakura spoke. So you already meet Metrika. Here we have our little Nami. She entered the club just two weeks ago. Oh? Hey, I'm not little, I'm 16. <laughs> that feels very familiar, right, Natsuki? <laughs> huh. So basically, we have a Natsuki from personality wise and then we have a not skip <laughs> but twice <laughs> and there's no no sayori or monica in there okay wait who's the club president actually that's the monica and the sayori okay i will just i will just guess so personality of natsuki body like yuri Personality like Monica, body like Natsuki. Personality like... No, uh, the personality like... Um, like Sayori, but body like Natsuki. Personality like Sayori, body like Yuri. No, but I like Sayori. Personality like Yuri and Monica is then just a well, the club president. It's true, she looks a lot younger than she is, but she was still pretty cute looking. Yeah, with the cowlick. She's small but strong. She doesn't break much about it, but she's good at video games. And I mean, very good. He's the perfect tourist champion in a lot of games. The leader fighter 96, Pika, Rocket Online. Even Ter Terranet online. Mm. Cool. So you're the dude. We can. We give us talking about. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Sorry to say this, but you really don't look like a video game champion. One of these days, I'll show you how skilled I am. My eyes were sparkling, full of energy. It was pretty adorable. Sure, you're not any time. Then I focus my attention on Rika. Now that I have seen her up close, I noticed that her eyes were unusual. One eye was blue and another one and then another was green. The guy who's allowed to dive into those eyes will be one lucky guy. Why? Well given her personality, is there any guy who will even get that chance? <laughs> if you don't mind me uh, saying, Rika, you like like Tomoko chan. Mika smiled. She looked really pretty with the one. No? Yeah, I love cosplaying as her. She's one of my favorite anime characters. If she if breaks out the bed with the nails, then we, we gotta run. We gotta run fast. We gotta run fast, I see. You seen the show? I love it. It's a really funny anime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I still don't understand. Angel goes back in time to prevent a guy make, making all the girls to stop aging at, at 12 years old. And instead of going to around the time where this machine is actually finished, we just go back into high school year where he had not even the slightest clue to do this. And just having because of that actually uh, the future just changed. Also, don't remove the halo of the angels. Why? 
Let's just say you need a toilet point for them. Oh, they need a big toilet point. One that doesn't break. Like that. Also, oh, it's also not good to touch the hills just because. You, you want your hand functioning like a hand? Well, um. Yeah, don't touch the hails or else you don't have that hand anymore. We can, I can do a really good imitation of them, Kujan. Watch this. That one. That, that also works. How's it? That was pretty good. It looked just like the real thing. Yeah, yes, definitely. We saw this animation. <clears throat> Very true. I'm glad you liked it. Now it's time for the question every member has to answer before they join the club. I don't like that this is gone. Go for it, Sakura. What's with that face? It's creeping me out. Yep. Don't worry, Roman. It's not a hard question. Oh, okay. It's not what's, what's the square root of 5,365,236. Here it is. What is your all-time favorite manga? Not the favorite one, huh? I think I need to save here. I started to think. There are a few that I really like. I enjoy a lot of edgy manga, but if I say that, the girls would look at me funny. Especially Rika. But it's always good to be the honest with girls as well. What should I say? Okay, I'm gonna see. I just, I just, I just, I just. No. Yes. The truth, high school summer energy, not completely the truth. Sorry, maiden. That sounds like. Hmm. Hmm. Edgy Shonen? The sign Hmm. I think Rosario Maiden. Let's not take any risks. Earth, Rosario Maiden. It's a great manga. The three girls stared at me. Funny, well, they all smiled. Rika spoke. I love that one too. The art style is superb and the story is great. It's a pretty great series. I I don't know which which version the the real one is. <coughs> I mean, Rosario X Vampire or Cross Vampire? I call it X Vampire. I have watched it, it is noise. It is just noise. The first season, of course, the second season too. I don't know if there's a third season. Was there even a movie? I don't know. But I found it nice. Um, then the Rose Maid. I think it's the actual one with the, the, with the dolls that actually are actually alive. I mean, it was good, the few episodes that I watched. I haven't watched that many because after that. Yes, um, yeah, I... I can... There was not enough translations, so, uh, yeah. I like it too. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Especially love the dolls. I wish I could have one like that to take home. Yeah, they're really cute, especially the green one. The green one is kind of mean, but it's still my favorite one. I'm not too into the dolls. I prefer the protagonist. He's so handsome. I prefer the real doll. She's just so dominant. Hehe. <laughs> gave me an evil look. What the heck could she be thinking? I'm confused and a bit scared. It looks like she's starting to like me. Hmm, both points. Well, at least I hope so. It was almost time to head home. The sun was starting to set. Starting to set. Rika and Nanami take different routes to go home. Get home. So only Sakura and I ended up walking home together. So you like Sena manga? Well, yes. On the same subject, you said Rosario Maiden wasn't your favorite. Which one is your favorite then? In the Sena type, it's Desumoto. You like Desumoto? I was kind of surprised. Desumoto is a story about the living book that eats human guts. It's full of all kinds of blood and gore, more so than in Nanda no Ryu. Huh. 
and there's a magical girl who pursues this book with a chainsaw in order to destroy it. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad actually. Anyway, it's not the kind of thing girls her age would watch in, like... Ah, appearances can be surprising sometimes. Yes, I know. Especially with this one thing again, I have spoiled one and the ending that I got. I like it too, but there's too much gore for me. I can't stand too much blood in an anime. I remember being traumatized by Elphic Leaves. <laughs> and by Elf Elphic Leaves! Huh, that sounds very familiar to this one other anime that I know. Huh, what it was it called? Um, Elfin Lead. Elphic Leaves is known to be the most violent and brutal and mean in all of Japan animation history. It's so gory, it was never broadcast on TV and it only exists on VHS tape. So, I remember watching it by accident about four years ago. It was on a VHS tape in my sister's room. Oh. I can't I can understand that. That one is really hardcore. Though, I think it's okay since there are only drawings. I don't think I could stand it either. If it was real. Same for me. Sakura started me. Stared at me for a moment. It's like she was wondering about something. Or that she came. A conclusion about something. Rosario Maiden isn't actually favorite isn't actually favorite manga ever, right? Yeah. How did she make an incredible guest like that? I guess I can't hide it from her anymore. You got me. My favorite is high school high school summer. Really? It's a great manga. The hero is really handsome. Huh? 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 And the and the girls are very cute too. Ah. Uh, yes, especially the main one. I wish I could look like her someday. You're already pretty cute though, Sakura. I said that without thinking. Oh boy. She kind of feels very familiar. Ahem. <clears throat> right, Shoma? I was on the verge of fa taking my words back until she replied. Do you really think so? Her face turned red out of embarrassment. So cute! It was so cute that I felt a little embarrassed too. Well, y yeah, you're pretty, you're a pretty girl, Sakura. Thank you, Roman. I will not say really all of the endings, okay? Unless it's, it's uh, somehow worth, if if it's the joke or a joke. Okay. She hesitated for a while before faking me. Was it Terra being timid? Ah, probably. We finally reached the crossroads of our respective houses. Sakura, since I don't know the path to school very well, do you mind if we go to school by together every day? Ah, there we have the Sayori one. The childhood friend. No, without having a childhood friend, actually. Sure, I'll wait for you here tomorrow. Alright, thank you, Sakura. Uh, also, wait a moment. Sup? Hello. You're welcome. See you tomorrow, Roman. See you. I watched her walk down the streets. Her hips were swaying a little with each step, her hair moving with the summer wind. The cicadas were crying, giving an atmosphere of something dreamy and peaceful with the hot summer weather. Before going to bed, I decided to get a breath of fresh air in front of the house. I must admit, this place is beautiful. Oh well. well. For sure, finding everything you want isn't as convenient as in Tokyo. But gee, it's so good to breathe real air instead of smog. Yeah. What's that? Um, according to my, my musical sentence, that's a violin. With a very familiar melody. Sounds like someone is playing the violin, yeah. 
It's kinda appropriate for a night like this. I think I'm starting to enjoy my new life here. Why does my brain also think of a meme? Achievement of the Oh, Nate, we got the achievement. <laughs> I mean... I mean, the Steam achievements don't work because of reasons. A fine date. Ooh. Dear sister, how are things? Mom, Dad and I have arrived at our new home. Hmm, yes, this looks very Windows XP like. Actually, that's a Mac! That's a Mac! What is, what is on there? Things here are way different than in Tokyo. It's peaceful, but there's nothing to do in the village. You need to take the train to find something to do in the nearest town. I just came back from my first day at my new school. I've already made three friends. Things have changed a lot, but I think I'll get used to it soon enough. We are part of a manga club at school. Since they're all girls, can you recommend any shoujo manga that I can read and talk with them about? I hope you'll visit us someday too soon. Your dear brother, Roman. Oh. The week passed by quickly and it's already Friday. Oh. Spending time with the manga club is great. Sakura is a little shy but very sweet. Rika still thinks I'm a pervert. Anami and I even started to play games on another level. Oh. Some PSO2? Or actually PSO. Was the PSO actually back then? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I know it sounds weird that the only friends I've made are three girls, but I already feel like I know I can count on them. Hmm, it's nice. I think it's better to have a few close friends you can count on than a large group of friends that don't know each other very well. I've learned a lot about manga, anime, and the village itself thanks to them. On my way to school, I was walking towards the classroom roads where I usually join Sakura. As I got close to her, I noticed that she wasn't alone. When I got close, I could see three rough-looking guys around her. It was like they were the typical bad boys you see in some manga or anime, with the same exit goofy hairstyle, styles and everything. I was vaguely knew who they and vaguely knew who they were. They were from our school, but. I remember Rika telling me these guys never show up to school. Got on. Say it. One of the guys shouted at Sakura. I instantly hide myself behind the wall. And a guy who looked like their leader forcibly grabbed Sakura by her, her collar. You're you are a guy. We all know it. So say it. Tell us what you really are. Yeah, stop playing the cute little girl. I'm sure you're just a sick that disguises himself into a girl to pick at other girls in the toilets, right? Yeah, you're disgusting. What the hell are they talking about? Anyway, Sakura is in trouble. Sakura is trouble. I have to do something. I'm not very good at fighting. I don't have the strength of a superhero. But I don't care. Sakura must be safe. Be strong like the high school samurai Roman. Charge! I ran between the group and stared. Started to shout at the guys. Hey, leave her alone. Eh, hey, who's that little brat? Who are you? His boyfriend? I will keep it at this. I will not say the this other, okay? <laughs> Whatever, let's go, guys. I had enough fun anyway. What? I said, let's go. There's way more fun crap to do than kicking these... The butts of these idiots. Let's just kind of let's 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 stay at this. I was ready for a fight, but fortunately they ended up walking away, arguing amongst themselves. I thought I scared them. Maybe they really thought that with me in the way, everything Sakura wasn't fun anymore. Sakura collapsed on her knees and sat on the ground. She stayed motionless, looking down. I watched them walk away. The cicadas, cicadas were crying. I got on my knees to reach out to Sakura. She looked dead inside. Oh, Jesus. Also, wait a moment.
So, also to the to that moment right now, I think it makes kind of sense because the uh, 1997, I think it was not very good for. Well, hmm. <clears throat> Sakura, are you okay? Are you hurt? She didn't say a word. I took my bottle of water and gave it to her. Here, drink. Try to calm down. But thank you. She drank from the bottle slowly. Tears were running down her face. She was definitely traumatized by what just happened. Or maybe it was just the refreshing feeling of drinking water. Bringing her back to reality. I couldn't tell. It's okay, they're gone. They won't bother you anymore. I sat with Sakura in the area for a while. Waiting for her to recover. Recover. Why did those guys bully her like that? There's no way an innocent girl like her could be a guy in disguise. No way. Ah, uh, yeah. The term, the term fanboy was not a, a thing back then. <coughs> or the other thing. Hmm. Maybe they picked on her because she was some tomboyish. Has some tomboyish tastes or something. Huh? Whatever, that was disgusting of them, yet. In fact, nothing they said made any sense. I still don't get it. Finally, after Sakura calmed down a bit, got up and won and went to school. Again, I want to clarify, we are in, the, in this game in 1997. <clears throat> we suddenly made our way to school together. I was worried. I think I'll need to help off. I need the help of Rika. And that's what happened this morning. I didn't bother telling Rika what the police actually said to Sakura. Just all the rest. And why I'm pretty sure what they were saying doesn't even matter. They just made up a reason to bully her. Those bastards! They were lucky that I wasn't there. I'm pretty good at trashing boys. No comment to that. It's okay, Rika. They ran away when Roman came to rescue me. In fact, without his help, I don't know what would have happened. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Roman. Like her about to about to about 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 to me. I wasn't sure what to say. Well, I guess I have to thank you for helping, Sakura, Roman. It's okay, it's okay. After all, it's my duty to save damsels in distress. Sakura laughed and finally smiled. Sakura, I promise you right now, I'll dedicate myself to escorting you to to and from school every day. Really? You promise? Oh, thank you, Roman. Huh, <laughs> fine. I'll accept this for now. Only because I live the exact opposite direction from her house. If I could, I would already be escorting her every day. Same for me. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. That was really the wrong button. <laughs> Never press F. I mean, unless you pay for respects, but I wanted to actually show the same pose somehow. So that looks, looks kind of goofy from, to me. I just know that I can count on you, Roman. I smart. Oh. Rika really does seem like a Tsundere, but I found it pretty lovable. Okay, bro. I felt even better when I saw Sakura's bright smile. Anyways. I have an important announcement for the members of the club. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Also, that means Rika is, uh, has the Monica role. I mean, it's uh, luckily we don't have four for breaks here. So it's good. What is it? I also just noticed. Nanami. That is a pretty green there. Two weeks from now, the summer festival will be happening in the village, and the club must meet together on this day and enjoy the festival. Oh. The summer festival? Really? I've heard about Japanese festivals like the Matsuri. Hmm. They are very popular in all the villages. People do things like put on new guitars and visit food stall stands. Hmm, yes. There are also a lot of games, traditional dances and even a firework display the very end. Mm -hmm. They also are very pretty. Especially in anime. Sadly. 
I've only seen them in an anime. Yes. I've always wanted to go to a real one. Same! You never went to any summer festival. You're city red. Hey, shut up! You've come to realize the summer festival of this village is absolutely amazing. Sounds like it'll be fun, a lot of fun. And no need to take the train this time, right? True. <laughs> I hope you have your Yukata city red. Hey, I do! Actually, I didn't. I just wanted her to quit nagging me. As I promised with Sakura, I escorted her on the way home after school. Oh, jeez. It'll be a problem if I didn't want have a Yukata before the summer festival. Mika would never let it go. I have to find one as quickly as possible. I know wearing a Yukata is mandatory for summer festivals, but I just want to show that Tsundere that I'm not the city red she thinks I am. Ow! Sorry. Sakura? Yes? Are you free tomorrow? Yes, why? Well, I'm not familiar with the big city yet. And I'd like to go there tomorrow. So I was wondering if you would come with me? Those last few moments were hard to say. It's like I'm asking her out on a date. Oh. Oh my. Oh my boy. No, wait, I'm totally asking her on a date right now. Yes, you are. <gasps> of course, I'd love to come with you to the city. Really? Thanks. I can't think of a better guy than you. We giggled. She blushed. I'll see you at the train station at 9 a.m. Perfect, just according to Kekku. I mean, the plan. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Not only will this tour in the city inform me of where all the important sp shops are. Stops. Uh, same kind of. But I also can find a Yukata. I think she just saved me. I can't wait to go to the city with Sakura tomorrow. The next morning. I was at the train station in Orange. I'm not even sure that it was a station. It's so small and old. Add to that picture of it. It looks... Actually, where does the train actually go? I mean, that is definitely a house where... Is this the end station or something? Or does it just continue there? Hmm. It's so small. I didn't know there were such small things. There are rain station in the country. I mean, you can literally have a, a platform and that's it. Nothing else. And okay, maybe a, a little house next to it. Roman! Sakura had arrived. She was wearing a small blue summer dress, a strapped shirt, and cute lace shoes that didn't hide her tiny feet. Her tiny feet? Really? I usually find school uniforms attractive. Oh. But I have to admit that the casual outfit she was wearing suits her so much. Hmm, at least it's not something that you reverse, but oh damn, it's, mm, I can I can kinda imagine that though. And, mm. Good morning, Roman. Sorry for the wait. Good morning, Sakura. Ready to visit the city? It's not as big as Tokyo for sure, but there's a lot more there than the village. I guess it'll be my tour guide, Senpai. I laughed a bit, but I kind of realized something. If I go to the city to buy a Yukata ship, I'll obviously notice it. But if I don't, we can all torment me at the festival. What should I do? Uh, okay. Before I tell her the truth. Um, Sakura? Yes? Yesterday I lied. I don't have any Yukata. In fact, I was planning to buy one in the city while listening it with you. Is that so? It's okay. I'll help you for, to find one. Really? That's a relief. Thanks. I said I had one to avoid Rika nagging me. Rika likes to give you a hard time. Well, I'm sure she means well. Uh, yes, of course. Rika is very unique. Very soon, you mean. I sighed with relief and laughed with Sakura. I'm glad she's so understanding. Okay, I'm going to the, the lie to everybody else to kind of unless it is actually something that is actually good for anyone. I mean or and both. Telling the truth to Sakura because eh. 
The train arrived and we boarded it towards the city. The city was three stations ahead. About 30 minutes of travel time. Sakura and I made small talk on the train. We finally arrived at the city. And I think this is a good point to have a little break. So, see you in a few minutes. The Arman. Well, you really maybe are. Not. Wait, maybe wait, not wait. anymore. Wait, wait, yes, yes, yes! Wait, 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 wait! Keep going! Oh. I, I just wanted to make... I, I wanted to make the, the joke. You know now why my name is the Arman. It's not because my name is Roman. No, it's because I'm the wrist man. <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 Whatever you say, Jerry Tater. Oh, come on. <laughs> and from this point on, this is not the reason why Sayori has a little grudge against Potika. <laughs> and that's also the reason why it happened. The side story is not only got relatable, but also interesting from the story perspective. So, Sayori, I actually lecture. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. Or from cherry ice cream. Oh, what a cherry sun! <laughs> I, 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 I. I mean. Like. <laughs> you are welcome to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. That sounded weird. Jetzt, wo ich die Einstellung richtig gemacht habe, funktionieren auch die Farben. Funktionieren. Die funktionieren. Mit Ü. Sayori. Sayori macht wieder Yoga. Warum wird sie kokett, weil sie vors Horn kackt? <lacht> Warum bin ich gerade... I was only off two days. <laughs> you, you don't see. You were so much cuter back then. Mion's gaze started and my chest then dropped straight down, focusing on the point between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at my pig! Oh, my stick. So she was saying it was my crotch that was... Excuse me, what? Und eine Minute? Und da 30 Sekunden? Forgive wow! But this is our duty. Ist der Tisch zu hässlich und modern? Able to Achille and Martin. Meine Freunde haben einen Stuhl. This says it's... <laughs> Meine Freunde haben einen Stuhl. Yeah, they only have one chair. Just this one chair. There's no other chair. They only have one. For some fishing reasons. Probably can't imagine how that feels. Hmm. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language were you using? Yeah, what kind of foul language? Like Dean or crap? Architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. Jesus. Okay, this is really. Hmm. Okay, this is a foul language. Successor. Ah, uh, good question. Answer A. Eh. Hey, are you done? Huh? Hmm? Well, well, well. The Armin. 
So, I'm back. <coughs> My voice told not know. Mm. It really is pretty big, just as Sakura said. Here we are. The shopping area isn't too far, only two streets away. Great, let's get going, senpai. Sakura smiled and we started walking through the busy streets. After some time, we finally reached the street full. Okay, buddy. Full of a variety of different shops. Clothing, multimedia, restaurants, arcades. They had everything here. I hasn't been shopping since I moved from Tokyo. I was pretty excited. But first things first, I have to find a Yukata shop. So we started with the clothes shops. Ah, there's absolutely no Yukata under the price of 200,000 yen. Which is probably around 200 dollars. It's definitely too expensive for the buy that I had. As I was checking the prices, I noticed Sakura seemed to be thinking about something. She looked kind of sorry that I couldn't afford a Yukita for myself. Ah, forget it. After all, it's not like my life depends on getting one. Although, I just hope Rika forgot about it already. I should brace myself for anything. Let's go somewhere else for now. Hmm, okay. So, what else do you want to do? How about the arcade? I'm curious to see how good you are at shooting games. <laughs> Alright, let's go. But I won't hold back. Mm, that's a... Huh. One hand on the... One hand on the on the trigger and one hand on the, on the magazine. Mm. We played the game of Silent Crisis together. She was definitely a pro at it. She knew exactly where the zombies spawned and shoot them before they could even attack. Huh. I don't see any zombies in this picture though, but okay. I ended up using all my credits since I died over and over as well. She didn't lose a single life at all. Wow, Sakura. You're definitely better than I am. You know the game by heart or something? Like you have programmed it. <laughs> she was concentrated on the game. Not really. In fact, it's only the third time I played this one. The, f the, 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 the third? The third? I think it's my reflexes that makes me good at these types of games. Hey guys, you're here too? Oh, Nanami. Hey, Nana. What are you doing here? Duh, playing arcade games, you dork. Do not do call me a dork, you little... Eh, I'm a dork now? Yes, you are a dork, dude. My brain is for a second. I thought it was static and you are adorkable. <laughs> like adorable, but with dork. <laughs> I hate my I hate that I made this. Sakura laughed so much at the damn joke. She almost took a hit in the game. Still, it's incredible how she can do multiple things at the same time. I heard it's an ability that girls naturally have. Multitasking? Huh? I kindly envy them. Then we put the token in the arcade machine and press the button they will play it to. Looks like you could use some backup. Hmm. And then we started to shoot at the uh, virtual mobs in the game with Sakura. After a while, Sakura finally lost her last life. Even Nanami was struggling to stay alive. Nanami was pretty good, but not as good as when she's playing fighting or puzzle games. Looks like we found the game she's not even master of. Well, nobody is perfect, right? You know... No, no. She... She's more fragile than she looks. Please, please don't... Please don't put the... She's... She... She's getting malnourished by her... F parents. Um, or... Uh, or... If we go exactly the nuts gear out, Malnourished because she doesn't get enough food from her dad. What do you mean? Well, something happened to her that makes her pretty introverted and nervous around people she doesn't know. Oh. What happened? I shouldn't tell you more. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I prefer she tells you herself. I'm sure she'll tell you herself something. If she trusts you enough. Well, anyways, don't mind her if she doesn't speak too much. Defending her takes time. Understandable. 
Being an introvert and making new friends is really ta is really taking some good time. And it's it's a nice time actually. For the introvert and also for the person because hey you learn them a little bit more and uh, yeah. Maybe maybe something more can come up. <coughs> I understand. Does she trust a lot of people? So far she only trusts her big brother, Rick and me. Oh. I'm sure she'll you'll be next on the list sooner or later. I see. I'll do my best to be a good friend to her. That's great to hear, Rowan. I'm sure some uh, some the, someday you and her will be best friends. For sure, but I wonder what Nanami thinks of me right now. Dork. And I'm wondering what Sakura thinks of me as well. You're pretty nice. Not not eh, it could be some potential. After now we finished playing we are we ate some yakitori at a fast food restaurant. Mm. Mm. Then we boarded the train to return to the village. The three of us had a, a pretty fun day together. And we waved goodbye to us as she left to get back home. Sakura and I were alone once again. Sakura seemed to be deep in thought about something again. As we arrived at Sakura's home, how Sakura spoke. Roman, what's up? I think I have an idea. Just wait here a minute. We ran into her house and came back with something. It looked like a set nearly neatly wrapped of clothes. Here, please, take it. It's a bit small, but you can make it bigger with some touch-ups. I unwrapped the set of clothes. I couldn't believe it. It was a blue yukata. Mm. I chuckled for a second. For a, for a second, I thought it was one of her own yukata. Mm. I was laughing, imagining how I would look like in a yukata made for girls. I mean, she had as probably a big brother who grew out of that. But after a close look, I noticed that it was really a yukata for men with the right cuttings and colors. Whoa, for real? I can borrow them. This. Yeah, you can you can keep it if you want. I mean, it's okay. Gee, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I gotta go. See you at school, Sakura. Have a nice weekend, Roman. Sakura waved goodbye and went back into her house. Really has a habit of helping me out in the gym. But it felt kind of strange. Whose Yukata is this? It looked like it's sized for her. Like the cicadas. Maybe it was her father's from when he was young. But it looks brand new. I couldn't have bought it one by mistake. Oh well, let's go home now. I got an achievement again. <laughs> Sakura's secret. Oh, that was fast. Another week has passed. Oh, two weeks. School was great with Rika, Nanami and Sakura around. During these last two weeks, I really started to feel that I was a part of the village now. I'm happy, but I'm unsure if I have feelings for Sakura. Or maybe even for Nanami. Well, at least I don't have any feelings for Rika. Don't we? Hey, Roman. Oh, <laughs> Yikes. Speak of the devil herself. Oh, hey, Rika. Do you have some free time next weekend? This weekend? No, you idiot. The weekend after this one. Oh. Sure, I guess. What do you need? Well, since you're a manly man that has muscles, I thought maybe you could make yourself useful and help me prepare for a festival. Ah, uh, why did I agree before knowing why? Looks like I don't have a choice now. Alright, fine, I'll help. Great! I'll tell you where to meet later. Rika, I didn't know you were from a temple. My parents are Shinto parents. Sometimes I help them for festivals and other temple related stuff. Hmm. You live in the temple with your parents? My. Her face fell down. My parents divorced. Oh. I live with my mother and my father guards the temple. Oh. But they are still on good terms and they still have their faith in the Shinto order. So it's okay. Ah, I'm sorry, I didn't know. 
It's good they're on positive terms though. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'll meet you at the club. See ya. The fish was that. The fish was that. I guess I learned something new about Rika. Still, I hope she won't be a total jerk towards me this weekend. Roman! Sakura, how goes? Sakura bowed at me. As she rose back up, I noticed her face was flushed. R Roman, are you doing anything this weekend? Oh, we're, we're going fast to this! The next weekend? I'm sorry, I'm helping Rika set up stuff for the festival. Huh? Oh, no, I mean the weekend of this week. Oh. Oops. Guess my man was wandering too far into the future, huh? I'm not doing anything at all. Do you want to go out to the city again? Sakura's face lit up and she started to giggle. I, I was about to ask you the same question. Of course, I'd love to go out with you to the city. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to have an even more fun than last time. Same here. I'll wait for you at the train station at 9 a.m. All right, I'll see you then. Ah, it's almost time for class. The school stay dragged on and on. Maybe I just couldn't wait to hang out with Sakura. The next day came and I arrived at the train station in the morning to go to the city with Sakura. We took the train to the city. We started our day out eating at an American fast food place because we were already hungry. American fast food place. Hmm, I wonder who could this be? Would be this this big M? This burger? Maybe it's the chicken. Was there with the chicken bed there? I don't know. Was there with the other ones? I, I know that the that the soup was not there. After that, we decided to try karaoke. Ooh. Sakura's voice was absolutely mesmerizing. Damn! Damn! It's a noise! It's looking better than, than the original, let me tell you. I mean, the beta. <clears throat> yeah. You could be a famous pop idol, Sakura. Thank you, but I don't want to be one, though. Uh, why is that? Well... She hesitated a bit before replying. I don't think I like the lifestyle of a pop idol. Huh? Yeah, can, can't imagine that. It's so much work and you don't have a lot of time for yourself. Yeah, especially if you if you if you go to the, to this area era with uh, well VTubers. Actually, oh, yeah, it must be rough. By the way, what would you would like to do in the future? I don't really know yet. Maybe I'll be part of a symphony orchestra if I can. Do you play any instruments? Yes, the violin. Oh. I suddenly remembered. The violin I hear sometimes at night. That must be her. Ah, so with other words, we have the Omori here. At least it's not the piano. Or else we just uh, say, okay, don't, don't go near any stairs, please. I think I hear you playing the violin during the evening from time to time. She looked down, kind of embarrassed. Oh, you heard me playing? Yeah, you play so perfectly. It's amazing. But why? But thank you. I hope I can watch you play someday. I'd be happy to play for you, Roman. Oh, the fish is playing World of Warships right now. <laughs> I, I'm seeing this is a steam popping up with, hey, this person is playing World of Warships. And I just, and okay. Then again, person playing World of Warships. Okay, did your game crash or did something else happen? <clears throat> I don't know. I tried to sing the next song, but I was horrible, awful at singing. At least it made Sakura laugh. Ah, so it's me. It's literally me. Fresh now. When we were done, we headed back to the city's train station. Okay, Jesus, that was fast. I mean, it was fast because of the car. <laughs> As if we were about to cross the road, 
A car. Ignoring the red light, I kept driving and almost hit Sakura. Oh, Jesus. Especially... You know those things are exactly for that. Why? You know that? And if you can't... If you ignore, if you ignore those... Well... You like you, know, you you don't like people it seems then. I mean unless you you like people when they are not living. Sakura quickly stepped back, but Luz lost her balance. I was about to fall on her back. I managed to catch her just in time, and she fell into my into arms. Oh my god, this looks very cheesy. And again, just just think of this, but instead of 2D, we have their Friday model who looks lovely. Ahem, <clears throat> yeah, questionable. She looked into my eyes, and I got lost in hers. I'm stopped. As we stared at each other, we forgot all about the car incident. Roman? Sakura? Her eyes slowly shut, her face closed in in on mine, her small mouth beckoned for something. It was her lips that seemed to be wanting for me, be waiting for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think she wants me to kiss her. I can't believe it. What do I do? I'm gonna save right now, real quick. Could you hear my heart beating loudly? It felt so loud. I was almost sure that the people around us could hear it too. Oh, that was very not very good. But no. This was it. It's now or never. My face slowly approached hers. Very slowly. I could feel her breath on my face. And the second my nose touched hers... She turned her face away, completely embarrassed, and stood up almost immediately. I, I, I'm okay. Let's go home. Oh, someone wanted the tea there. Mm. Someone wanted that stick. Somebody wanted that robot stick. <laughs> Considering that I'm talking about the character in that game. And, and, and sometimes it's not <laughs> very good when I make jokes like this. <laughs> When I have the character with my name in there. I mean, technically. I mean, technically. I mean, technically. Technically. <laughs> Again, the, sec the only thing is that she kind of looks like Yuri. But that's the only little. Yeah. The rest of her. Oh, it's. On the train ride home, I was in the complete those days. I thought she wanted me to kiss her. But in the end, she refused. Ah, she wasn't ready there yet. She won. Her heart wanted it. But her brain said, eh. Sakura, stop. Damn it, stop being paranoid, Roman. Maybe it's just because it was her first time. She might not have felt ready. Felt kind of happy inside, though. At least it, mean, it means that she's attracted to me. I think. But I also felt just as confused. As we sat together in silence, I occasionally looked over to Sakura. She didn't look angry, but she seemed really embarrassed still. But most of all, she looked upset about something. She just sat there, lost in her thoughts, like she was profoundly thinking about something. Sakura was completely quiet along the way. I didn't know what to say or what to do. The atmosphere was uncomfortable. Suddenly, she broke the silence. Roman? Yes? I... I have something I want to tell you. What is it? I followed her as she entered the rice field. Welcome to the rice fields, mother fisher! <laughs> Sorry. If you know the meme, welcome. The path inside was small, surrounded by big rice plants. It was completely desolate. There was nobody around us. Only the chance of the cicadas could be heard. This is something very difficult to tell you. Painfully difficult. 
This isn't something you might not even comprehend, but... This sounds pretty serious. I could feel a sort of anxiety building up from inside me. I've never seen Sakura behave this seriously before. I'm about to tell you this because I trust you. I smiled, but I was nervous. Y you can trust me, Sakura. You're my friend. You, Rika and Anami are my best friends and I'll never betray any of you. Never. Oh good, because oh boy, if you do this, then people will be angry, including me. Just think. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Do you promise? Never? Forever and ever. This time I smiled with a little more confidence. Gave a faint smile but reverted back to her serious face after. It's so hard for me to tell you. Besides my parents, only Rika knows about it. Not even Nanami knows. Everyone else seems to have just heard numerous about it. Or I'm sure at all. Oh. I was confused. What was she saying? What was she trying to say? Obviously she and Rika knew a secret. And Sakura was about to tell me the secret. I feel happy. That means she must feel I'm a close enough friend. And that she really trusts me. She stopped after walking a small distance from me. Facing away from me. Hmm. Okay, we have the silver. It's not good. Her body covered the sun, and I saw only her shadow in the distance. Roman, do you remember the day when those fucks fox pulled me? Yes, I remember. Do you remember what they said to me? Yeah, I remember. They were trying to make you admit that you were a boy or something like that. Yes. It's because they... They guessed it. For some reason, they knew it. I... What are you trying to say? Roman? I really am a boy. What? what? Surprise! Big decisions. <laughs> That's not the only big thing. <laughs> Okay, that joke was dumb, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're back. Yeah. You're a boy. You're a dude. You're a boy. You're a bro. My mind went completely numb for a second. I couldn't believe it. No, she couldn't be a boy. That's impossible. <sighs> Again, we are in 1997. Where the concept of trends people not was not really solidified I think probably I could be wrong though but, mm, but I think mostly just say yeah it was not really a thing a popular thing back then I started to never see laugh to myself there's no way it was just a joke <laughs> it's a joke no way no you can't be a boy Sakura Sakura didn't say anything say a thing he suddenly turned around and approached me. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. You mean like look, look, or you mean like feel, look? She suddenly lifted her skirt up, showing me her panties. I crashed out of embarrassment and shock. I took a look around, but unfortunately we were still alone in the rice fields. Welcome. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't make this joke. I can't, I can't welcome to the trans fields, Malaficia, or something like this. No, I, I can't, I can't. My, my, my heart can't take, I can't make this joke for some reason. Oh, but actually it's a good, good extra. I tried my hardest to not look at Sakura and covered my eyes. No, Sakura, I can't look. This is just inappropriate. Please, just look at me. I peeked a little and could see her eyes intensely glaring at me. She was dead serious. My eyes slowly scrolled down to look below her waistline. She was wearing blue colored panties. But then I noticed that in her panties there was something. 
something that shouldn't have been there. I know, I, I, I actually could make a joke there too, but no. Again, my heart can't, I can't make it. But the evidence was right there. I couldn't believe my eyes, but the truth was there. You wouldn't believe your eyes with 10 million fireflies. <laughs> Sorry. You're really a he. I started to shake. So the cute girl I was following for school. The wonderful girl who was talking about manga and anime with freaking anatomy. The girl I was infatuated with for almost two weeks. The girl I was about to kiss today. That girl was a boy, a guy, a dude, a male, a pro. I stood there, motionless. You're a You're a boy I ended up shouting at her. I couldn't believe it. I hope best made her. I mean him, I mean her, I mean him, I mean them. A bit scared. Sakura stepped back a little. sorry, sorry, Sakura. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh no, I mean Sakura. Ah. I tried to make I tried to make it so it so I I don't feel weird. Okay, just saying. My mind felt like it split into a million pieces. It, it's incredible, you. But you know I. As I read my mind, Sakura turned around, facing the sun again, and he started to calmly speak. I was born with a very rare, well, I don't know if it's a genital disorder or something. Technically, I inherited all the chromosomes of my mother, but I got the Y chromosome anyway. Oh, it made me a very girlish boy, so girlish that even my brain is one of a girl. What? I was a normal boy when I was young, but my mind and body transformed me as I grew older. I was more attracted by dolls than little cars, and I preferred talking with girls and playing soccer with the boys. When I was 11 years old, my dad started to get exhausted of this choke that changed inside of me, so he started getting me back into male stuff. He bought me outfits and books usually made for boys. But as time passed by, he started to drink more. And his alcohol addiction grew. He started to become more violent. He even tried to cut my hair once. But my mother protected me. She has always accepted me for who I am, no matter what. That is a good mother. I can't help it. I feel like a girl inside. That's all. Actually, my father is really pissed off at me. My mother tries to protect me, but my father becomes crazy when I'm around. Mm. I nodded, taking in her monologue slowly, digesting the, the, her story. I didn't know what to do. My life must have been pretty rough growing up, but do you want to be a girl? No matter what everybody thinks and whatever your body thinks, you want to be a girl and that's all. Bro! 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 No matter what everybody thinks, okay, yes. What your body thinks, uh, uh, that is, uh, mm, I don't feel really, mm. Uh, okay with the, with whatever your body thinks. That is just mm. yes, more than anything. I mean, I, mm, mm, mm. let's say I have no idea how to feel right now. Hmm. Thought for a moment, and I finally smiled and accepted it. After all, maybe she's a boy, but Sakura is still Sakura. Huh. Oh, okay. It's okay for me. Really. Yeah, if you're happy like this, then I'm happy for you as well. Sakura was still facing away from me. She still seemed a little unsatisfied. 
You must have some questions at least, don't you? Yes, you're right. I do have a lot of questions. It's scary how she can read my mind. She spoke softly. Go ahead, please. You're my friend. It's normal to have questions about this. And you have the right to know more. I calmed myself down a bit and gave Sakura a smile. Okay. So you prefer that everyone says she to you instead of, well, he. Yes. I see. All right. The problem of she and he is all solved now. It feels as confusion is already going away. Okay, good. We, we got the pronouns in check already. That's good. And well, what about your, um, your, 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 your titties, breasts, opa? I see that your, your chest is, Double swimming. What's the case? I don't know, but off power bring too for some reason. My body is also weird for some reason. Um, well, hmm? oh, just a bra with some cotton inside. Oh, oh, why do that? I've always wanted to want to treat uh, breasts. I would like to wear a bra. They don't look big as Rika's, but it's enough to make me feel like I have breasts. So you're in a cup? Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, okay, actually also. In a, she's in a cup, but she wants to be uh, about the B cup. Yeah, okay. Oh, on the same subject. Have you ever thought about doing surgery? Hmm. Or oh, HRT? Yes, I thought about it. But I don't want to. I'm too afraid of surgery. The way she said that. Sounded pretty cute, but she seemed pretty frustrated. Also, I hope that my, that, that, that boy means from... Mm. Okay, actually, if I think about it right now, it's... Probably it's in the good way, like, like trans from transition from male to female, like that that there are actually boobies. Hmm. Huh? What the heck am I saying? No, it's a girl. I can fall in love, even if he, if she looks like a girl, bro. Bro, 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 bro. If, if if something in this situation, you know what I would do. Hmm. So I have now I'm I fell in love with a guy who looks like a girl, or well, actually, it's, it is hmm, is partially guy and girl. Uh, mm, ah, mm, okay. This is uh, mm. Mm, I don't know what to feel right now. I, I, or I don't know what to feel and say at the same time. But in my p p position, I will just hmm. Hmm. so. I mean, it, 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 it's a good thing, actually, in my opinion. So, hmm? I mean, you have someone who kind of is into maybe the same. Mm, okay. Never mind what my brain is thinking. My brain is, is also confused right now at this moment. Even if she looks like such a wonderful girl who seems so fragile in the shadow. Ah, uh, damn it. What should I do? I'm still confused. Please help me. What should I do? What are we gonna do? We just gonna... I mean, this... this is... No, it's a boy. I can't love him. I'm not gay. Mm. Hey. No. Yeah, whatever. Love doesn't have a gender. 
I mean, you fell in love of the personality, not about the body, right? The body is just a plus. You'd like the personality of Sakura. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a guy. So what? Who said that love can only work with the opposite gender? Yeah? Or with other, other genders, actually. I loved Sakura since the start. I desired her since the beginning. She told me that she's a boy, but I still love and want her. So be it. I love Sakura. Gender doesn't matter. I understand now why you rejected me when I tried to kiss you. Yes. As Martin started to come closer to her. As a girl, in soul, I prefer boys, boys to girls. Oh, okay. But I was afraid to break our hearts if I do this. She felt that I was behind her, so she turned around. I didn't want to lose my friend then. I don't even let her finish her sentence. I took her in my arms and kissed her. She tried to step back for a second, but finally she gave in. Her lips were lovingly un but united. Yes, I love her. I don't care about what people say. She's a girl and I love her. I mean, she's, she's trans and I love her. It's as simple as that. Or, or, ha. Ah. Brain, not comprehending about what to say about this. But, 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 but it's good. She stopped kissing and Sakura looked me, looked me in the eyes. I found myself swimming into the endless -so ocean of beauty her gaze offered me. Roman. S Sakura? We guessed again, but this time even more intensely. Oh! I thought my hands were running down her body. Her body was so womanly, so perfect. Her fingers were roughing my hair as she was held me tighter. Okay! <laughs> I don't want to what to feel, but I know something is is in the good mood, Carly. For some reason. <laughs> I mean mm, Whatever you're saying, Roman, it's It's complicated <laughs> for your brain. It's in a good complicated way though. We say it in the rice feels for as long as we were. For eh, eh. We stayed in the rice fields for a long while. We just couldn't stop. Oh. Even though my head was spinning a bit from the situation, I still couldn't stop giving her my love. The sun began to set and filled the sky with a beautiful shade of orange as the evening arrived. It was getting late. I had to let Sakura return home. We held hands as we walked to her house. We were silent. There was no need for words. We were just enjoying every moment together. My heart was still racing. I was overwhelmed with joy. Sakura, suddenly Sakura held my arm tighter. I wonder what Rika will say when she finds out about us. Knowing her, she might try to kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably, definitely, yes. It's kind of scary to think about, but it's, a, it's, it's probably true, especially, um... Again, um, Tokuro chan, actually, was the name, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, yes, please don't let her call Excalibur. In fact, I've always wondered if she was in love with me or something. Oh. She's Rika. She's the Rika I know since she knows my secret. Really? Huh, to be honest, she kind of scares me more now. Sakura giggles. Don't worry, I'll protect you. As we approached the front of her house, she dropped her head against my shoulder. I couldn't resist her touch. I took her in my arms and kissed her again. She softly kissed me back. When she stopped, she smiled, squeezed my butt, oh, and whispered in my ear, See you tomorrow, sweetheart. I don't know what to fear. I don't buy his, even saying this like that. Ah! Hmm! Brain complicated! Brain confused! Brain so happy at the same time, somehow! <laughs> You're acting more like a guy when you do stuff like that. I don't know, but I'm smiling somehow. 
But I, or I don't know why I'm smiling, but I don't know what to say because brain, brain confused. Hmm. Meanie. Okay, let's go, uh, Sakura or uh, Sayori. Hmm. Um. He sticked her tongue out at me before disappearing into her house. I I don't know what happened within me. I was flooding with energy and happiness. I ran along the streets. I ran, I ran, I ran as fast as I can, overwhelmed with joy. I wanted to sing, I wanted to laugh, I wanted to dance. I felt completely crazy. I mean, understandable. You were, you are in love. You, you had your first probably kiss with someone you love. That is always a nice feeling. Well, I would like to say I, I know how this feels, but um, I had never felt that kind of euphoria before. Stop it, pray. Stop it. As I was running home, I passed by an enemy who was coming her back from groceries. Hey, Roman, what's cooking? I lifted her off the ground like a small kitten and spun with her around happily. <laughs> oh no! I'm so happy, Nari. So, so, so happy! Uh, uh, what the heck? Why are you so happy? You're crazy! It's because I. I put back Nanami on the ground. No, wait. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'll tell you at school on Monday along Serica. Monday? But that's too long. Now I really want to know. Patience, little one. Patience. Just <laughs> little one. I can't even running back home. Scare me. Woohoo! Out loud, I heard a scream from Nanami. I'm not little! <laughs> uh, my gosh, what a day. Sakura called earlier. I'm going on another day with her tomorrow. Oh. I was about to ask her out. I date myself. Looks like she she beats me. Beat me to it. Maybe we can read each other's minds now. That we are lovers. Anyway, I better get some rest. I was waiting for a sacred at the train station of the watch. I was getting used to these trips now. But I'm a bit tired today. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was full of excitement thinking about our lovely date. Oh, that, well, it was just... And a joyful Sakurai appeared. She was listening to music on the CD player. Mm. I mean, it, it is music, though. When she saw me, a big smile filled her face. She turned off at the CD player and walked toward me. Roman, sorry for the wait. Good morning, Sakurai. And embraced each other with a kiss. Darn, I miss these wood lips so much. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Wait, somehow this feels very familiar. Hmm. I had a feeling that she had put on a little more makeup on her face for the occasion. You look wonderful today, Sakura. I also want again to think. Let's just think about the 3D models. Yeah, I don't. I have completely. Was this? Was this even? Was there even a close up? I don't even know. Like I again, I have completely forgotten. It was overflowing with happiness. I've never seen her so happy before. Oh, does does that mean I'm not pretty yesterday? Ah, no, no, no. I mean you're as pretty as usual. I mean you're always. Sakura gave me a mischievous grin and gave me a quick kiss on the lips. Silly. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, that's so cruel. We laughed together as the train arrived in the station. We sat on the train going towards the Grand City. I was wondering about her CD player, so I decided to ask her. What were you listening to on your CD player? Oh, some classical music. I like classical music. I mean, she plays the violin. I love it. I'm not especially a fan of that kind of music, but I will admit that it's, it's good to listen to sometimes. It can be very relaxing. Depending on exactly, well, <clears throat> classical music. Some some, some are, of course, good. Some are very dramatic and some are, some are, oh boy, 
you just wonder are you suddenly in an anime that is that is where at the end where the main character is at the edge of something and then just that she is nearly in the few seconds before what's your favorite song Tucker gave me one side of your headphones and start to see the player I know this song. I mean, it's a. I mean, everybody knows probably the song, but I have no idea what its name is. But it's really nice. of the can you please stop me can you please give me the oh you're for playing this game oh and the drawings the spice the story the music and some song Alpha's image, or using the picture. Read that serial about that. Okay, let's stop with the joke there. But yeah, nice classical music. Oh, I know this song, but I don't remember its name. Oh, okay, Robert from this game, you're stopping me. It's the Air Orchestra Suit Number no. Three of Bach. I don't know why, but I love to listen to this when I'm in a good mood. You must be in a pretty good mood then, huh? She doesn't reply. She just leans her head on my shoulder and closes her eyes. I gently lean my head against her. Her presence, her warmth, her strangely feminine smell. What? Along with the music, I wish this train would never stop and that we could stay like this forever. I mean, yeah. Some things make me more make more sense now that you've told me your secret. What do you mean? Well, I finally understand why you like shooting games and are matching manga. Hey, man. hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. Bro, normal girls like could also like this. I don't know any of them, but I know that there are some. Have some more boyish tastes in you, despite that the rest of you is pretty feminine. Yes, it's true. I think I got that from my father. For my last few birthdays, my father bought me shooting games and edgy manga. Wow, that, your, your father is very brave. <laughs> I guess it's just stuck with me. I see. How it was when you were younger. Was it difficult? My childhood was kind of chaotic, yes. I was a boy like the others, during my first years at the kindergarten. But the time passed. It was clear that I had more girlish tendencies, very strong ones in fact. When I was going through puberty, I clearly expressed my desire to be considered as a real girl. I couldn't help it, my mind was locked in more feminine habits. It looked like my own body was confused, I didn't know how to evolve. For example, my voice didn't deepen like a male. So I let my hair grow, pierced my ears, started to wear skirts, use bras, and even put stuff inside my bra to simulate the real breasts. When I looked at myself in a mirror, dressed like a girl, I knew definitely that I was one. I wanted to be one, and I will be one. 
My mother accepted it well. She loves me more than anything, and I will, will have accept anything as long as it makes me happy. Again, good mother. But other people didn't want to understand. My father, my classmates, you get the picture. Well, to continue on, my first teenage years were horrible. You mean here, in the village? No. We were living in Kyoto before, but we moved out here. When we started our new life, I decided that I would fight to be considered as a girl in the new town. Only my parents and Rika knew the secret. And you, of course. And on me on Monday. You know I. I wish sure I was a real girl. I always wanted to be a girl. I always wanted to have long hair. I always wanted to wear dresses. And I've always wanted to have a boyfriend. I listened to her in complete silence. As she was remembering her childhood memories, I could see some tears were about to come out from her eyes. I put my hand on her shoulder and kissed her head. Sakura, I know your secret, but I promise you, to me you'll always be a girl, a real girl. I don't care about what other people think. I don't care what your body thinks. I don't even care if your father hates me someday because of us going out together. Sakura, you're a girl and I... And I... I... And I thought it would be so hard to say it, even if you want to express it so much at the same time. I forced myself to let it all out. I, Sakura... I lo lo I love you, Sakura. I ended up loudly shouting as out. Some people in the streets were surprised. They stopped to stare at us. I felt terrible, ter embarrassed. Even Sakura turned red with embarrassment. Suddenly I realized the deep sense of what I just said. Yes, yes, I love her. And I'm not afraid to say it. Yes, everyone, I love her. You hear me? I love her! Strangers just stared at us awkwardly. Sakura was still blushing, but suddenly she started to reply in the same tone as me. Stuttering and trembling a bit. But with the same conviction and as loud as me. Yes, 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 I'm a girl. I'm a girl and I love you, Roman. <laughs> I love you too, Roman. <laughs> you continue to stare at us, but soon they carried on with their lives, ignoring us. Therefore, just thought, okay, love, you just confessed to each other. Okay, could, could you keep it down a little bit? I rolled my eyes a Felt at the people. Why? I mean, kinda, but I mean, they, they, ha they still have to do the stuff. To them. <laughs> people. Sakura made a strange face. She was holding her mouth while blushing. She was laughing. She starts to laugh. Starts to laugh loudly. It was a nice laugh. The sound filled me with comfort. I was a little surprised, but her laugh made me want to laugh as well. <laughs> That's a funny Sanakura. She tried to reply, but couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm relieved now that I said it. And the way you rolled your eyes, it was too funny. I couldn't hold it. I mean, hey, that's just how I naturally react. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roman. I rolled my eyes again before realizing and she started to laugh even louder. I began to laugh as well. I was so happy. You stopped after a while, wiping away her tears of laughter. I've never felt happiness like this. Thanks to you, I feel that those sad memories have gone away now. Thank you so much, woman. Thank you. She embraced me tightly like a plushie, like a little girl to her father. With an adorable smile on her lips, I could feel her heart beating against my chest. We had a lot of fun today in the city. Holding hands, we were on our way back to the station. But suddenly, Sakura had stopped. I turned around to look at her, while still holding her hand. A breakfast expression was blank, then turned to embarrassment. She was beat to root red. Something wrong? She pointed toward a building near us. I looked to see, and it was... Love Hotel! 
Okay, and since we take a little break here, so see you in a few minutes, and hopefully nothing bad will come, but... <sighs> the Armin. Yep. Nein, Yuri. January high. <laughs> that face. That face is just says, yes, I'm high. Hello, my office members and Twitch watchers. Today, we play some Sonic horror games. Oh, ich hab, ich hab den Witz schon gemacht. Ja, aber jetzt hab ich ihn gemacht. Ja. Ja, selbst gemacht, das schmeckt immer besser, Monika. Oh, Jesus. I love when you communicate your feelings. I feel lucky to get to see that side of you. I want to see him right now, Monica and Yuri hugging. Why do I want to see this? <laughs> Why do I want to look up Monica and Yuri hugging? Row 34. What? <laughs> Eine junge Dame in sehr aufreizender Unterwäsche aus der Wohnung. Du hast gerade die Pizza ihrer Mitbewohnerin gegeben. Und sie kniet sich vor dir hin und strullt vor dir auf den Boden und hält dabei die ganze Zeit den Augenkontakt. Dann steht sie auf, verbeugt sich und redet mit dir. Da gehst du doch nicht in die Wohnung. Well, actually... <lacht> What's the farming life? Is everything running smoothly? Yeah. No, Roger, you could really don't have this broken down. It's like we discussed. Take a lot of materials, but it would certainly be worth the effort. Yes, it could be done. The chrome is going to need to get a lot of supplies. And money too. Oh. Stop by my shop if you want some. Mm hmm. But until the full version. Good breaking the fourth wall. Let's change the subject. I mean, I can answer this, and yes, they probably will. The only thing that it doesn't run is on Androids. <laughs> the Armin. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> I'm scared about what will happen now. I mean, we know that this game has some sexual themes. But, um, <laughs> when it happens, then um, I I am hopefully prepared. Please, please tell me I am prepared. Please tell me I am prepared. Nope, I'm not prepared. Um, please hold my domain. And... Okay, good. Just in case. Just in fishing case. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Does she want to... Do, 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 do you want to go there? She nodded and looked down at the ground to hide her as shyness. Her hand gripped me tighter. Sure, let's go! I woke up in the bed of the hotel. Okay, okay, it's not so. I think I dozed off for only 50 minutes or so. I was feeling pretty sleepy. And my arm sucker was seeping against me. She held me tight. I guess... She must have been exhausted after so much fun in that room. She woke up still a little drowsy and spoke with a weary voice. Roman? Huh? 
Was it your first time too? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Do you regret it? Me? No. Why should I? No, am I? I'm just... I still can't believe I finally found a boy who accepted me the way I am. Whatever you're thinking of how, how this actually did happen. How... Uh, how... How... How it happened. Let me just say, just don't think. Just, don't, just accept. Just accept it. Just accept it, please. We, we, un, unless you like this and th then you can uh, then you can have those fantasies okay um <clears throat> i say only the hole is good it seems <laughs> don't don't think further about this also brain stop what are you thinking right now though you even gave me my first time I'm happy. <coughs> I'm happy to be your first, and I'm happy that you were my first too. I'm so happy, Roman. This is almost like a dream. We lay there in peaceful silence together. I was completely crazy about her. We got lost in each other's eyes. Our eyes were filled with love and happiness. She smiled at me. We ended up making love one more time, then sometime later. We took a shower, left the hotel, and took the join home. I walked her home. See you at school, honey. See you tomorrow, love. She waved goodbye and entered her house. So much happened this weekend. Oh boy! <laughs> your your stick is, is crazy! Sakura told me that she was a boy. And we kissed and went on a date. Then we did it. No. You know, a stick and hole. Oh, my brain is, uh, is having no the thought. Was it also the other way around? Uh, pro probably not. I mean, unless. Huh? Huh? I mean, it could. It could be. It could have been happening. I'm so tired. So many things to wrap my head around. I mean, then, okay, then it's there also the question who's top and who's bottom? I'm out of I'd like to take the day off tomorrow, but I get to see Sakura tomorrow too. What? Lovers? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Seriously, guys? I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm so happy for you both of you. <coughs> no wait, I'm not, not at all. Roman is a damn pervert. He, he will. Hey, seriously, guys? The girl looked at me and smiled brightly as she's turned red. None of me is probably like you like this one time <laughs> when Yuri brought a wine bottle to the club. Like literally just I mean it's just a uh, just ah. I looked right back at her and I smirked. She starts to start to laugh a little. Because he's this exchange and starts to stutter to stutter. To stop! The guy changed some of my, my my pronunciation to German quickly. Why why is this happening to me? No 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 no! Don't don't tell me you! Don't tell me you already! Mm, all right, we won't tell you then. Uh, seriously, guys? We can none of me were absolutely shocked. Even after a few days passed, we still wasn't over it. I mean, she can't. I mean, none of me just doesn't know. Probably can. Maybe she thinks that she did. Well, they did it. Rika just already. They did it. And. Um. I can. Rika is is was was one of the. Oh no, Sakura. That was, Sakura was a boy. 
And I'm really randomly shot at UFC guys and does for the same amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Just just Sakura and Droma just going down the hall and then Naname just just go, seriously guys! And Mo just looks at them. And then just eh. It was kind of fun to watch. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, chapter five. The festival. The week went by quickly. Friday evening came, the day before the festival. Oh no, not the day before the festival. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The music is not very good in this situation. No. Preparations for the festivals were awfully hard, but I promised Rika I'd help her. We had to prepare the, sh the, the stands. The stands and the decorations. Brain, you stay in English. Rika came to tell what to do and where to go. Hey, maybe could you give me give us a hand? I can't, I'm guiding you, idiot. You really don't have the same understanding of the world. Help. I had to move some boxes inside the temple. I was alone. The boxes were inside a big dark room with a lot of old junk. It's so dark I can't see a thing. Rika, are you hidden here? Yes, come over here. I followed the direction of her voice, but I suddenly stumbled into something and I fell onto the floor. Well, not exactly the floor. I fell on something warm and comfy. Ah, uh, the classic. Oops, I fell onto something and it was not the floor. I suddenly... This, this ba -dum, ba -dum sound where he squishes something round and soft. Like in every arm entry anime. Ah, I fell on, on something. My hands squished the metal things, thing I was on. What is this? I don't even... According to, the, to this, this, this dash there, there will be a smack. You idiot! Wow, I'm good. Something hit my cheek and I instantly got up by instinct. I realized what I fell on. Or who I fell on. Or on, on what thing? On who I fell on. You pervert! Stop touching me! I stopped, I stopped! I'm sorry, it was an accident. Turn the freaking light on and help me lift this box up there. Damn, this girl is nuts. Huh. She is nuts. Like now, kid. Although her best felt really nice. Bro, you have a girlfriend. Go swam and mellow and big. Uh, what the hell am I thinking about? Yes, my bro. Rika is definitely not my type of girl. Not at all. I mean, some people like the zoom, though. So, huh? Those am I already with Sakura. The day of the Matsuri arrived. The club planned I will go with Sakura, Andrika, and maybe Nanami if she's motivated. No problem. I can't wait to see them. I was waiting for Sakura in front of her house. I was wearing my brand new Yukata that she gave me. She finally appeared in a wonderful pink and red kimono. She looked like a Miku priestess. She was pretty. Damn! Hello! Wow, Sakura, you look superb! Rowan, the Yukida suits you very nicely. He comes close and whispers in my ear with a grin. I wonder what's hidden inside. Oh. Also, wait, does this mean that <laughs> Maybe you'll see her later. I saw a woman come out of the house. That must be Sakura's mother. She looks very young for a mother of an 18 year old. She looks like she's in her early 30s at least. 
Implications are not very good in this case. And I'm not very good at, uh, with the soaps. Oh, you must be Roman. I presume. Okay, she she pretty too. I have to admit. My daughter never stops talking about you. Sakura looks looked embarrassed and blushed. Okay, that is also <laughs> Mom From the Yuki that you're wearing I assume that you'll come to the Matsuri too, ma'am. Yes, once my husband is ready, we'll go as well. Oh no. We'll be going on ahead, ma'am. See you later. Have fun, you two. Don't have to, but don't have too much fun. You know what I mean? We were about to leave, but then Sakura's mother called me. He spoke quietly. I know that you and my daughter are going out. Yikes. Sakura told me how much you love each other. And what you already did, you know. Again, don't have too much fun. I'm so happy that my daughter found someone so kind and so understanding. Any time, ma'am, I... I do love Sakura more than anything, no matter how she was born. That's sweet. C can I count on you to make her the happiest woman she always wished to be? As far as, far as my remi memory goes, yes. I promise, I will, ma'am. She smiled and I went back to Sakura. We waved goodbye to Sakura's mom and made our way to the festival. Loud noises and music were becoming audible as we got closer to the festival. What were you talking about with, with mom? Um, nothing odd. By the way, your mom looks incredibly young. Yeah, she gave birth to me when she was only 16 years old. Hmm. Oh no. My father was her Japanese teacher. What? The fish? Please, please be the teacher in in his young twenties, especially in when he was twenty. <laughs> Sounds like a manga cliche. Yes. In this day and age, no. <laughs> yes, it is. He smiled for a while, but then it grew thin. I don't like my father very much. Yeah, I remember why. I think. Because he doesn't understand you, right? Sometimes he scares me. Recently he... He said he would never accept me as his daughter. I didn't know what to say. Um... Well, you will. Your father seems to be confused with the case of his child. Mm-hmm. In fact, he even admitted that he was always preferred having a real boy. Hey, at least he gets a hit. He probably gets a good in the grandson. Maybe. But I'm a boy with everything girly, and it makes him angry. I know that again. And how does your mom feel about everything? She prefers a girl at the time, but she doesn't care at all now. No matter if I'm a boy or a girl, I'm her child first of all, and that is important. Doesn't matter what, what your child identifies as or even transfers as. It's your child, so... Hmm. Of course, you should also understand how they are feeling and so also... <clears throat> well... You know what I tried to say here, right? Hopefully. She understands me and she takes me for who I am. I guess that easily after the chat I had with her earlier. That's a good thing. If only your dad saw things like your mom does. Right? You can count on your mother if something bad happens. And you know, you can count on Rika, Nanami and me if you need. Sakura smiled and held my arm tightly. You know, Roman? We arrived at the festival and we are, we are joined by Rika. 
She was wearing a very pretty Papa Yukata that showed her shoulders outside. Oh, I guess what she tries to do here, eh? Hey, 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 you lovers. Rika! Rika, your Yukata is great. <laughs> I know what you really mean, you pervert. Hey, it was just one time and it was an accident. And I have a girlfriend, you know. How are you guys? My, my, looks like our city rat has himself a nice Yukata. Thanks, Rika. Hey, wait, well, I'm no city rat. By the way, where is Nanami? Knowing her, she probably went off to playing the shooting games. Shooting games? Let's go join her and play too. Oh, I would love to. Beware, Roman. Sakura is the best shooter in the whole village. We'll see about that. So we walk to a shooting stand. Bang! 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 Sakura made three perfect shots in a row on a big plushie of Bye Bye Nico, which fell on its back. Yay, I love plushies. You're great at this, Sakura. It doesn't feel like it does in the arcade. Pass them out. I knew what to do. I had to get another plushie for a Sakura. My turn to try. I gave 100 yen to the guy at the stand, took the gun and targeted a cute coconut plushie that seemed easy to get. Bang, bang, bang. Missed. Hold on, I'll try again. 100 yen more on the table. Bang, bang, bang. Dang, the plushie moved a bit, but it wasn't enough for it to fall. I don't more. Bang, bang, bang. I got it. I got the plushie. I was about to give it to Sakura, but I remember Rika and Nanami. Maybe I should get one for each of them too. I was about to pay 100 more to the guy. Rika showed her, shoved herself through. Hold it, Cigarette. It's my turn to play. I get the same plushie with only three shots. You'll see. While Rika and Nanami were busy at the stand, I gave the plushie to Sakura. For me? Oh, it's cute. So cute. Thank you, Roman. She kissed me wildly in front of everybody in a way that the man is more used to, to than the girl. I imagine it, girly, and I don't know what to say. I felt embarrassed and shy, but happy. Ah, missed again, darn. Apparently, DK isn't very good at shitty games. But she finally got the plushie too, after a while. I think it's because the guy was seduced by Rika's sexy Yukata. Ah, oh, seriously. How about we get some food now? I feel hungry. Excellent idea. Me too. Me too. Hello. Let's go. I'll show you a good stand where they make excellent takoyaki. Ooh. Hmm. For me, it was just excellent as Rika promised. Also, none of me. Yeah, cute too. I'm full. I told you it was good. This is the best place to find them. I want more. Hey, more of these, please. Can eat more. Rika, how can you eat so much of this stuff? Do you have a black hole instead of a stomach or what? Ah, there's a. Uh, <laughs> Natsuki, hello. Actually, Rika can eat a mountain of food without adding on any pounds. Ah, because. I mean. You mean, she does game pounds, but it's not on the waist. It's more on the other sides that are very much good for for attracting bug guys. Wait, really? she's lucky. I have to control my own weight to make sure I don't end up too far. <laughs> Same for me. We finished the festival by watching the fireworks. The show was fabulous. At a moment, Sakura and I kissed their screedy in the dark under the fireworks. Oh, nice. Sakura and I were on the way back home. I'm completely overwhelmed of happiness because of the festival and the night with Sakura. Before the second though, thought I tried to act out a cliche from movies I've seen before. I want to come back to my place for a drink. Huh? I suddenly noticed what I just said. I started to blush and spoke incoherently. I, I mean, if you, if you, I mean, if, if you, if you, well, I mean. If you, Okay. I was surprised. Sakura watched me with a tinge of shyness. She looked like a cute begging kitten. Oh. You want to give her that drink? Ah. 
Uh, yes, taking you to your home, Roman. My heart skipped a beat. My own girlfriend in a kimono coming to my bedroom for the night. I'm pretty sure that we wouldn't just sleep that night. Okay, bro, you, your horniness is going too much to the roof. Apparently, my parents weren't back from the festival yet. I entered my house suddenly and went upstairs and into my bedroom. When I turned on the lights, Sakura opened her eyes widely. Whoa! It's incredible, all of these posters. Oh, it's High School Samurai. <laughs> yeah, I took the habit of collecting posters. You bought them at Tokyo? Yes, I was living near Gamers, the biggest manga shop of Tokyo. Oh, I've heard of it. I hope I can visit it someday. As she was speaking... I'm searching my nose currently. Sorry, it was a drink I hugged, I hugged her back lovingly. We made sweet love to each other. My god, the, 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 the bro can't hold back. If if you're alone and with Sakura, it's just... Okay, we just... We just... We're gone with the clothes. Gone with the... With the under clothes. And then just... Just... Come. <coughs> yep. We are so tired after this evening. We dozed up. I woke up slowly. Looking at the alarm clock, it's kind of late. I felt something warm against me. It was Sakura. She was sleeping naked in my arms. Oh no. I smiled and watched her sleeping. Even after the obvious evidence I've seen, I still can't believe that she's actually a boy. She looks like a girl. She speaks with the voice of a girl. She smells like a girl. She has soft skin like a girl. I would have said something right now, but I don't. But my heart becoming sweet, beating sweetly as her warm, sweet little hand was on my chest. Oh, my brain just uh, just thinks of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. She finally opened her eyes as she saw me. She smiled and then cuddled me tighter with a sweet sigh, and went back to sleep. A sight of her, of hap a sight of happiness. Oh, oh no, my parents. They're shooting back from the festival. Ultimately, oh, it's already morning. What are they gonna say if they see me with a girl in my bed? At least, if, if, if they don't say the evidence, I don't know. And with the evidence, I don't even know more. What should I do? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, Sakura? Roman, I love you. She fell asleep again? Stop panicking to listen for a moment. I was waiting for an indication that would tell me if our parents were back. Nothing. Slowly moved out from my bed, letting Sakura sleep and looked outside the window. My parents' car wasn't there. Maybe I can do something at last. Roman? Sakura just woke up and sat on the bed. Sakura, my parents aren't here yet. We should go home now before they come back. My parents are kinda strict when it comes to relationships. The girl nodded. She looked all sleepy. That was cute, I smiled. Aw, I had too much fun last night. The girl giggled. She stood up and took me in her arms. Her warm naked body was against mine. I kissed her again. After some time, I helped her put on her kimono and took her on to her house. We promised to have another date very soon. You mean like they date and not like... Like, I went back home and turned on my computer. No. Dear sister, how are things? Uh, it's been a while since I wrote. I mean, a few weeks. <coughs> you never guess what happened. I'm going out with someone. She's a wonderful person. A unique person. It's kind of hard to tell you more about this. You have to promise that you'll never tell our parents. At least... I'm happy. More happy than I have ever been. It's as if I just got the best Christmas present ever. I'll send you a photo of us. I don't know how much longer our so story will last. As far as I can remember, very long. 
but I'm sure I'll never forget it for the rest of my life. What I'm living is really unique. I hope everything is okay for you too, and that you are as happy as I am. Your dear brother, Roman. P.S. The local summer festival was great. I hope you had a wonderful event like this in Tokyo. Oh boy. Oh. I wish I was a real girl. Three days after the festival. I was late in the evening. I was in front of my computer, surfing on the web. My cell phone rang. Hello? Roman? Yeah, you come. Come to my house right now, it's very important. It's about Sakura. What's going on? Just come. I switched off my computer, took my bicycle and went to her house, where to death. It was late in the night and there are little rural streets of the little village were a bit scary in the dark. Now isn't the time to be scared of these small things. My love needs help. Knock knock. The door of the house opened and Rika appeared. Ah. She looked very worried and upset as I imagined. Ah. Can you Just come on? Ah, oh, there you are. Come. I didn't give her any time to show me where Sakura was. I instantly ran into the house and searched for her. I found her in the living room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Near the Kotatsu, there was Sakura sitting on her knees, wearing her pajamas. The long hair was hiding in her face, but she looked shocked. Thank heaven she's alive. Sakura, are you okay? She turned her face to me, speechless. She had a large bruise on her cheek, and tears were flowing slowly from her sweet blue eyes. Oh. Oh no. Who the heck did this to you? Rika, what happened? Was it the gang from school again? Rika shook her head. Her father did this. What? Her father? Rika nodded. He was drunk. He hit her and even broke her violin. Oh, bro, you, sh you shouldn't have done that. Her mother helped her to flee the house. So she came to me. When she told me what happened, I called you. She needs both of us, more than anything. Does not mean no? Not yet. I prefer not to worry her. She has a lot of Sakura, but she is very fragile. I nodded. From what I saw, I could see that she really considers Sakura and Rika like her sisters. Anyway, Sakura's father surely did this because he was still pissed that this his boy is a girl inside. Or maybe he was pissed because Sakura gave away her yukata from men. I felt that he bought it for her in the hopes of making her a man. I felt enraged. But actually, I had no idea of what to do. We stayed at Rika's home for tonight. But I wanted to avenge my friend. I had to go there and talk to her father. While they were both asleep, I stood up and went outside with my bicycle on my way to Sakura's house. My god, this song! In front of her house, there was her father. He was mumbling some gibberish and was holding a bottle of sake. I could guess he was still wrong. Hey, you! Who are you? Name's Roman. I'm the boyfriend of your daughter. Her boyfriend. <laughs> I don't have a daughter. I only have a son. And my son is a freaking pervert who dresses like a girl. That's all. Shut up! I shouted so loud some dogs in the neighborhood started to bark. Whether he is a girl or a boy, he's your child, your own flesh and blood. You must accept him as she is. Sakura accepts her father like he is. So why don't you do the same? <laughs> I don't have any lessons to take from a kid. He started to shout too. Some lights turned on in the neighborhood, awakened by the argument. Sakura's mother came out from the house and stood by the porch. She had some bruises on her body and her eyes were red. She must have been crying a lot. 
She seemed scared and was watching the scenes quietly. Looked like looks like Sakura wasn't the only one who got hurt. Faro broke his empty bottle, held it like a knife, and grinned. No get out or I'm gonna stab ya, you gay brat. Crap, is this guy for real? Being too charged at me brandishing the broken glass. I was paralyzed with fear. Uh, kinda feels kinda feels very familiar. I mean it's not the the first time that I Okay when I first but it was the first time, but now it's more like the second time on stream where I, where the main character fights the father of the girl because of because he he was he he had a little aggression problem. <clears throat> Little. I mean the first. I mean the other time was um, Tetsuki in a brand new day. And boy, the waiting on the day where the full release of that mod is coming because. <laughs> oh hi Tetsuki, or should I say Dioski? Because of well, the creator of the mod used Tio as the father. Of Natsuki. <clears throat> Go to hell! Just as he closed in, someone jumped in front of me. Uh oh. It was a deafening sound. I heard a painful moan. It resonated in my head, even after it was done. Time stopped. Just remember being pushed to the floor. I can think of who it was, and also it was. This is where the blood comes in. Probably. When I came back to my senses, saw Sakura's father flinched back, shaking and shocked. The broken bottle he was holding fell on the ground and shattered. The pieces were stained with blood. On top of me, there was the body of Sakura. My stomach, stomach was bleeding profusely. Sakura! Sakura, hang on! Sakura! I started to feel tears in my eyes. You saved me by sacrificing yourself. Please, don't die, Sakura. Sakura quickly turned her head to me, caressed her cheek tenderly, removing a tear and kissing her lips softly, my own tears preventing me to see how beautiful she looked, even in that state. Roman, I'm so happy to be your girlfriend. I love you so much, Roman. And I love you, Sakura, more than anything. That's why you must stay alive. Stay with me. I thank you. I regret I didn't have the time to tell Nomi, Nomi the truth. You know, I wish I was a real girl. She smiled at me. Then she fainted in my arms. Sakura! Sakura, answer me! Sakura! The police and the ambulance arrived shortly after with Rika. There was still a pulse inside Sakura's body, but she was badly hurt. The police arrested her father for attempted homicide and domestic violence. And then the door was 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 shut accidentally on him. Sakura's mom went with her in the ambulance. He stayed there with Rika for a moment when everyone was gone. Cried in Rika's arms, uncontrollably. Sakura, no, damn it, not Sakura. Rika was sobbing as well. When we calmed down a little, she spoke. You know, I don't know how to say it. Okay. But I think it's the right time to tell you. Before you came to our club, I was in love with Sakura. Where? With Sakura? Yes. I was attracted by this boy who is so girly. After that, you came and it changed. But I had, well, by the way, you know why I consider Sakura as my best friend now. <coughs> <coughs> so you got friends on because of a, a boy who understood her. Hmm. I see. But don't worry, I was shocked when I heard about you two, but I was generally happy for the both of you. I've never seen Sakura so happy before. You changed her life so much. That's why I'm not mad at you. Sakura's happiness is all that matters. And now, 
I just hope that she will be all right. He started to weep now, too. I'd never seen her like that before. I held her in my arms gently. The night was silent. The next day at school was gloomy for me, Nanami and Rika. At the club we were just sitting, doing nothing, saying nothing. The only noise we could hear was Nanami's crying. She couldn't stop crying when she heard the news. The club was silent with us, Sakura. Suddenly I spoke as I stood up, smashing my fist on the table. I can't stay here like this. I have to go to the hospital and get news about Sakura. Rika smiled, determined, and stood up as well. You're right, kid. Let's go there right now. Nobody said that the manga club would leave one of its mirrors alone. I smiled. I at last, at last found the Rika I knew. Nanami didn't say a word, but she stopped crying, dried her tears, and followed us with a cute, determined face. <laughs> <laughs> so, doctor, how is Sakura? Oh, don't worry, kids. Your friend is fine now. We managed to save him, her, right on time, thanks to her mother's call. We couldn't believe it. We, uh, we heaved a sigh of relief. We should be ready in a few days. She can have visitors if you want to see her. We nodded and followed the doctor to Sakura's hospital room. Her face shone as she saw us. Aww. Roman, Rika, Nana, Sakura! Nana made some on the bed to hug Sakura. She fringed a little bit by the pain, but hugged Nana me back, rubbing her head like a, like a child. Easy little one, I need time for the wound to heal. <laughs> I'm not little. Okay, she said that while going back to crying, but of joy this time. Oh my gosh, Sakura. <clears throat> I'm so happy you survived. I was so scared that you... You seem to be really okay, as if nothing ever happened. I will not leave this planet where I can... Where I can have the best friend, boyfriend ever. So well as the best friends. We all love you, Sakura. Sakura has smiled to us. I love you all too. So much. Did your mom visit you? Yes, she did. She's a bit sad that father was taken to jail. Oh, luckily. Good. But I think she can't love him anymore after what he did. Oh. Mm -hmm. Divorce is but actually, actually, why not a bit earlier? I don't know what to think either. It's a relief that he won't bother me and mom anymore. But he's still my father. Don't worry, Sakura. We all be here for you. I don't know how yet, but we'll find out. Yes, we will. Yeah. Tear of joy rolled on Sakura's cheek as she smiled. I know you all do. Thank you. Since we got brought into some manga with us, we did our club activities with Sakura in her room. That was fun. I was so happy. I think my luck helped me again. Uh, wait a moment. This time it helped Sakura too. Why the doctor said he to Sakura? Uh oh. Well, better late than never. Since there probably wouldn't be any other better moment for that, we taught Nanami about Sakura's secret. She took it well and understood. Feelings for Sakura didn't change at all, just as I expected of her. Though for a whole week she randomly said, Seriously, guys? multiple times. <laughs> she understood, but uh, but somehow a part of her just... Wow. I think she was a bit upset that we kept the secret to us until now. I promised it was the last time we kept the secret from Nanami. Mm. Summer vacation came. To all of us, school was over until next September. Love can be really... Can be really strange. Hmm. I think you know what kind of person you'll end up with, but love at first sight can hit anybody. I was pretty sure I would only love real girls. My first girlfriend is actually a very, very girlish boy. <laughs> Who could have predicted this? Not me for sure. 
I don't know how much time we will stay together, Sakura and I. Months? Years? Maybe for the rest of our lives? I'm not sure of what the future holds for us. But if my story with Sakura must end someday, I'll never forget the wonderful times I passed with her. Or him. Who cares? Honey, what are you doing? Come see the view. I'm coming, sweetie. And we got the Sakura ending. There she is. Mm. That's nice. <sighs> and yeah, that was the first visual novel I have ever played. And uh, yeah, hmm. I mean, I could also go for the other routes too. I know if I think actually other routes, mm, technically, they are probably. I don't know, actually. Thanks for playing. Of making this game. The beta and well, first time, go check the bonus menu to see what you have in it. The Sakura's World for the first time. Oh. A bonus mix. Oh. Hmm. That is. That would have been when the. Well. <coughs> Ah, uh, where is Nanami? Dude. Hmm, Sakura's mom. Nanami. Um. I don't know. No comment. You piggish? Hmm? Hmm, Sakura. Hmm. Oh. You can just stop bringing something take my heart. Huh. Yeah, those were the models. <laughs> You'll see how awkward this looks. I mean, I can definitely remember how it looks like this, but mm. yeah. And this is. I'll be able to have the beta release one. Release two. Yeah, that's this was because. And this is from the Steam release. Oh, achievements. Get a kiss from Mika. Okay. No. Get a kiss from none. Mm. The truth of us. It's all about the opinions. Just to give him up. At the beginning of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Crop freak <laughs> accidentally. You could prank, prank your friends with Nanami. Help Sakura tell the truth to Nanami. Oh. Guru, Nanami, find the secret code in the game. Okay. Every room. Date of birth. Okay, mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. very manga high school. Mm -hmm. Megan Hamburg is soon. Yeah, <sighs> I don't know if I do the other two routes with Rick and Anatomy. Maybe in the future at one point. But yeah, this is, well, the end. 
The Arman. So, I'm gonna get this right now because I'm... Da. Da. Da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba Maybe go to the other route if you, if you, if you, if you somehow want to on your own terms or just stuff. Then, mm, yeah. That's that. So, uh, I'm looking now for somebody to raid. I'm looking now for somebody to raid. Also, uh, I can already tell you next editing stream i will play i will i will edit this whole stream because mm, 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 mm. <sighs> so oh, i'm ah. yeah I'm, i know who i'm gonna read so i'm going to read you to kaiomi who's currently playing with that the redemption too and uh yeah the next edit stream will be the editing stream um i don't know if it's going to be on first day no i think i will do it on well, on saturday probably it's it's better for me because i'm on well yeah saturday is, is better because it's i can have a long I'll, we, i can start at 4 p.m. Central European time. And, uh, yeah. So, be nice in Kaiomi's stream. Or pop chat. Again, next stream on Saturday. Editing stream with this stream combined. And, uh, yeah. For everybody else, I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday morning, evening, night, whatever is currently on the time zone. And... Always, if you fell in love with someone and they have a little secret down in their pants, then, hey, it's good to, uh, if you really love them, then, yeah, your heart will, will hope, hopefully say, it's, it doesn't matter what's down there, it's, it's, it's good what's up here. In the, in the heart. So, and yeah. See you then. You're the Iron Man. The Iron Man. <laughs>